All right, so I just did the Grandmaster's Gauntlet because I still have those two runs to do because of the compensation. Uh, by the way, very weird compensation, but I guess it is what it is. And yeah, Gauntlet is still really annoying. Korg especially, but there are some fights here that are pretty fun. And Silk is honestly very good for the Gauntlet. Here I have three fights recorded. I have some more recorded, but I'm going to save that for something else for my members because they actually helped pick my rank 2 silk and i am so glad they did because this girl's fantastic and she is a great champion overall so here we have this mojo fight and mojo is one of silk's best matchups to be honest because she is immune to dex which makes her very strong for most mystic champions especially mojo here because he can't degen you and without the degen there is pretty much no challenge to mojo and point here, she's just tearing this fight down without too much of a struggle. Then we go for an intercept, and now it's time to build up to our SP3, which is the big damage dealer that will just end the fight. So here we drop a heavy attack into the SP3, and it is now showtime. So check this out. We go in for a combo, and the mediums are hitting so hard already. Like what, 33,000 in total? 24,000 light attack. We drop the relic, and he is down. We didn't even see the SP1, but it's fine because 1 minute and 19 seconds is still very, very solid. And now we have this Nightcrawler here. Nightcrawler is kind of the joke fight of the gauntlet. Like, he doesn't really offer too much as a challenge. However, he does have a pretty potent evade still. And what's the best evade counter? Moon Dragon. Well, more on that later, but slow also works pretty well, which she has access to right here. And we just drop a heavy attack and we are in control now because the slow, once he is cornered, then the slow becomes pretty much permanent. So it is a great ability. I think it is one of the best slows in the game for sure because it also reverses regen. So it is more than just a regular slow. It is a bonus slow pretty much. And now it is time to cash in on the SP3, which will just seal the deal because her SP3 just does so much damage. So here I can just drop the SP3, but I choose not to for some reason. Don't know why. I was just playing really silly here. Um, I think I drop it after this combo. Yes, I do. I go for a heavy attack, then I drop the SP3. Remember to charge your heavy attack and then stop to drop the SP3, and then you get to keep your fury passive. And here I can just drop a combo, and the damage output is looking pretty good so far. I drop a heavy attack into the relic stun, I do another combo, 25,000 light attack, 50,000 on that heavy attack, and the fight is now over after 100,000 plus burst. Yeah, Silk is pretty crazy man, <laughs> Silk is pretty crazy. And now we have what is considered the second hardest fight in the gauntlet because no one will ever surpass Korg. Korg is forever the hardest fight in the gauntlet, there is no competition, he is so annoying to deal with. But this Sasquatch is also annoying because if you don't have the right counter, then he is pretty much impossible to defeat. So good luck if you ever come across this guy without a proper counter. Um, Silk, though, is a great counter because she has pretty much everything needed to beat this guy. She has a slow for the Wrath of Tenarak. Did I say that right? Is it Tenarak? I'm sorry, but for his wrath for his wrath mechanic right he also has a lot of regen but we have despair and despair paired with her slow just shuts him off completely he has power snack but we're immune to power snack because of her dex immune ability we also have a ton of damage output which is pretty much needed for this fight as well because this guy has a million health which is pretty nuts man like a million health is super rare now and then he has also his damage res just straight up damage res per rage charge so this guy has a lot to deal with so here i just dropped the sp2 because i can't stun him so there's no point of doing a heavy attack charge because he would just one shot me uh there we get some nice burst damage though seventy-four thousand, which is pretty sweet and here i mess up a bit i accidentally dropped my relic stun for some reason i think i just I don't even know how that happened, but it happened and it does sting because that was very important for the rotation, but it's fine, I guess. We can just work around it. And Sasquatch is now at the below 40% health threshold, which means that he will get a ton of regen soon. But thanks to Silk and Despair, she counters the regen very, very well. And check this out. We go in for our combo. We go for the intercept here. We get it, thankfully. I drop the SP2 now. And the damage output is pretty dang sweet. We get no crits, but also 77,000 burst damage there. 
pretty nice man and the fight is almost over we have the life cycle to deal with though which is super annoying right but we can get past it here he enters wrath which is a bit annoying but we have the slow so that is no big deal we drop the sp2 now after we drop a heavy attack and the fight is now over that was a million health a million health on a sasquatch who does have damage rest too in about two minutes so pretty dang solid now this spider gwen is one of the most annoying evade fights out there however moon dragon is one of the best evade counters out there so it is a very nice time moon dragon i feel like is going to be a very slept on champion for this feature crystal but she is fantastic she is really really strong and her damage output is a bit silly at times so here we have the spider gwen fight and this goes pretty dang well if i do say so myself um moon dragon though just fantastic just really really good if you pull her and you're upset about it just try her out just try her out please because she's honestly really fun she has some great damage output for like battlegrounds and the best part is she's a battlegrounds champion but her damage output is great in any health pool so that is perfect so we're now in transcendence and we can just build up our mind charges by doing intercepts or dropping the sp1 if we want to but now that we're in transcendence we can just drop the sp2 for the massive damage and check out this damage it is very very nice um here we can just go for an intercept we get more mind blast charges we drop the sp2 and that's forty thousand about and ninety thousand on that last tip that is just silly that is just so much damage off right there on that one sp2 so we go back in we get the intercept we drop a relic stun now then we do another combo into the sp2 once more and this just one shots her pretty much instantly crazy fight man and only like a minute as well a minute and what 19 seconds so so good now we have this weapon x fight which lady death strike is pretty much made for because lady death strike counters weapon x in every way possible weapon x has access to unstoppable and unblockable but lady death strikes heal block cancels that out so she is just one of the best counters in my opinion the best counter for weapon x and this fight goes by really fast so we drop the sp1 here and for lady death strike just spam sp1 and keep your ruptures going the more ruptures the more damage of course and she can stack them up a ton here we have about 23 so far but it just keeps on going up and weapon x here is ultra aggressive which is perfect because that lets us intercept more and lets us just deal more damage output as a whole and now we have two torments stacked up which means that our ruptures will have some insane duration. So this fight is pretty much wrapped up now. We go for intercept, we drop the SP1 again. We have about 40 plus ruptures now, and he just does not stand a chance whatsoever. He is just melting at this point, and the fight is now over. That was about a minute and five seconds, which is crazy for a pretty big weapon X like that. And yeah, these champions are fantastic. Silk is so good. She is a absolute goddess i think she is the best pull in the future crystal besides one man that i have a really really big liking to but yeah this has just been a ton of fun gauntlet is always painful but silk made it a little bit more fun right but let me your thoughts on these future champions and yeah that's about it for me